got 0.4 of an inch of three shots there at 100 yards. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Hauer 1500 Mini Action 223 rifle. Now this one is the ultralight version guys. So if you remember the last Hauer 1500 uh, Mini Action review that I did, that 223 was the Varmeter. So not much difference this time, just obviously a lot lighter. So I've had the opportunity to uh, give this one a test. So um, I thought why not give it a review as well. So just to uh, be clear guys, we've got three different versions of the Hauer 1500 Mini Action. So you've got the um, Varmeter, which I reviewed last time with a 20 inch Varmint barrel. Then you've got the 22 inch Sporter. And then you've also got the 20 inch uh, Ultralight, which is this one here, or 51 centimeters um, barrel length if you're you know, working things out in metric terms. So let me go ahead, just clear it guys, so you can see there's nothing in the rifle. Now I'll start off with a uh, run by of it, so you can have a look at the synthetic stock, it's exactly the same as the Varmeter that I had. You've got the nice uh, rubber kick pad at the back, a sling attachment at the rear, you've got the uh, textured uh, grip, and then moving forward we've got a sling attachment there at the front. So the barrel as you can see is just a nice blued finish, um, there's no open sights on it so you need to mount a scope on this. Now the uh, detachable 10 round mag, we were having issues last time when I uh, did the um, Varmeter review. Now just to be very, very clear guys, all that was required was a new magazine. I just had a faulty mag, a brand new mag just cleared up the feeding problem that I was having instantly. So um, hopefully we won't have any problems with this one here, you know, on the ultralight. So it is just a polymer mag. Coming back here, you've also got um, basically just a polymer trigger guard. You know, everything's kept fairly light on this being an ultralight. Now the trigger on this is actually two stage. So it is a very light take up I find. Like, you know, I'll hardly touch that and it just takes up. You know, and then it just breaks fairly nice and uh, crisp there. I don't know what the, the trigger weight is. Um, let's do a quick measurement of it. Okay, so we've got just over three pounds. So the rifle comes with the three position safety. So if it's all the way forward there, okay, it's off. So obviously you can cycle the action, you can pull the trigger, no problem at all. If you move it back just one click, you can still cycle the action. However, you can't fire. Then if you move it all the way back, it locks the action and also you can't fire. So overall, being an ultralight uh, rifle, guys, it's 2.6 kilo, so well under six pounds. So very easy if you want to cart it around all day, you can put a sling on it, and it's certainly not going to weigh you down. So on top, what I've done here is, um, for those of you who don't know, the Hauer 1500 um, is basically like a Remington 700 in the sense that it, it takes Remington 700 um, bases or rings. So... What I've got is just some loophole uh, rings on top here and the actual scope, I've gone with the Vortex Viper PST 2.5 to 10 by 44 scope. So <clears throat> this is a really, like honestly, a very budget setup guys. And um, I thought a few of you have asked me about the uh, ultralight and you know, to be quite honest, I can't give much feedback because I've used a Varmeter, which is a complete different uh, use, you know, to what an ultralight is. So. Um, overall, this rifle was on sale at Cleavers for $499. So, I mean, that's just, uh, you know, amazing, really. The uh, scope, you're looking at paying around the $500 mark, um, you know, maybe a bit more. It just depends on what the dollar is doing. Um, so, look, overall, I mean, you've got a, a rifle here, uh, you know, that's, that's around that $1,000 mark complete with a scope. So, very much a budget rifle. So... 
Hopefully we get some good results with it. So let's get out on the farm now, guys, put it through its paces and see how it performs. All right, guys, so we've got five different types of ammo we're gonna run through the hower. So we're gonna start off with the 55 grain Blitz King from OSA. Then we'll move up to the OSA 55 grain Game King. Then the Federal uh, Power Shock 55 grain Soft Point. Then the 52 grain Spear Hollow Points from Federal Premium. And then last of all, just to uh, test out this one and nine inch twist, we'll load up the uh, 75 grain Hornady TAPs. So anyhow, we've got a target there guys, uh, 100 yards down range. Being a uh, very lightweight sporter, we'll just put three rounds uh, of each ammo through it and uh, see what the results are. All right guys, so let's have a look here at 100. So we'll start off with the 55 grain Blitz King from OSA. We're gonna have about an inch, I'd say. Yep, one inch group. Then we come down to the 55 grain Game Kings. A little bit more there. I think we're gonna come out to about 1.1 inches. Then we come up to the uh, Federal. Geez, it's thrown one of the rounds here. I don't know what was going on there. Going to be about, yep, about 1.8, 1.8 inches, so yeah, not too happy with that. Different story though when we come to the Federal with the 52 grain uh, spears, nice little cluster there, coming in at about 0.7 of an inch. But then when we come down the Hornady TAP, wow, I'm really happy with that. We've got 0.4 of an inch for three shots there at 100 yards. So clearly that uh, 75 grain TAP performs extremely well in this rifle. So I'm just gonna make some adjustments. Let's bring it up a um, few clicks and uh, we'll come across probably two clicks there and we should be right on and we're gonna have a bit of fun with the rifle. So the single stack mag hasn't given me any dramas at all, which is good. And loading in the magazine is pretty straightforward. The rounds just go in without any dramas. They don't snag or anything like that. So overall, it's really lightweight, which obviously, you know, is in the theme of the actual ultralight rifle.
Okay guys, I'm gonna finish up my final thoughts on the Howe 1500 Ultralight. Now, a couple of negatives to start with guys, and um, you know, you may not agree with the negatives, but I'm just pointing it out what it is to me that I have an issue with with the rifle. Uh, not so much a massive issue, but being an ultralight, the barrel heats up very quickly. Like I'm talking four to five rounds and it's really hot. Um, so, you know, if you wanted a rifle for repetition, you know, out at the range or something like that, I wouldn't suggest this. I would suggest getting the same model, but in the varmint um, configuration. The problem that I do have with it that I found, and I only just discovered this when I was walking around with the rifle, this mag release here, okay, everything works, functions perfectly, don't get me wrong there, but if you hold or even shoot and like to hold around here, okay, even when you're walking, if you just bump that mag release, magazine just comes straight out. Like, um, it's sort of in a little bit of a protruding position. So in other words, when you've got a sling on, and it's over your shoulder there, if it's rubbing up against your back, you know, potentially that magazine can come out. So that's just something just to be aware of, okay? Um, for me, it just made me straight away aware of keep your hands away from that area from rubbing against it. So, but on the positives, guys, I mean, look, you know, you get what you pay for. I mean, $499, you might as well say $500, and you've got a rifle that shoots sub-MOA. You know, like, I mean, look at that, those 52 grain Federals and then the 75 grain uh, Hornady TAP, just absolutely brilliant. So for anyone who wants a rifle where, yeah, you want an ultralight rifle where you're basically going to be getting around the sling, trekking around and you might get, you know, like two or three um, opportunities to uh, fire a shot. This is just perfect. It's going to give you the accuracy. It's going to take the knocks with the synthetic stock and overall, it's just a really nice little package. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the review, so till next time, we'll catch you then.